So that's the beginning of number 58 from More Greater Studies of Clarinet, book two. Uh, it's a study by the German-born clarinetist Hermann Lang. It's not very much known about Lang, um, but he, he does appear in Pamela Weston's More Virtuosi of the Past. Um, and he was evidently a, a player in the Dresden court in the early 20th century. Anyway, he writes nice studies. Uh, and this is a very jolly piece, Allegro Giusto. Uh, and just one or two things about it. Um, from a rhythmical point of view, it's really quite straightforward. There's, there's nothing complicated in it at all. It's, it's just very basic 2-4 rhythms that you'd expect to find in a 2-4 in a piece. Uh, it's got quite a lot of dynamic changes in it, uh, and I think that's worth really exploring. Um, just the next section after I played that introductory bit. <laughs> Um, you've got the contrast between the, the loud, slightly assertive, uh, and then that rather thoughtful response. Uh, and that actually takes us into another area. A lot of character changes here, small ones, but the assertion of that upward arpeggio, the thoughtfulness of that response. Uh, the beginning is jolly, um, as I said earlier. Uh, there's a section in the middle which is a bit wistful. It's a bit folky, really. That last bit almost um, has a sort of Hungarian flavour to it. Um, so, so do your best to try to bring out these characters, make them as contrasted uh, and as interesting as possible. You can do that using uh, dynamics, maybe also slightly tempo. Uh, you might want to play that wistful bit slightly slower with a little bit more movement as you get into that folky bit towards the end. Uh, there are one or two technical areas to, to think about. Um, towards the end of the middle section, uh, there's a bit down in the low end of the chalumeau, um, which is fun to play. Um, uh, you need to work out your fingerings. It's got uh, F naturals and F sharps uh, and G sharps. So it's got all the, uh, the bell note fingerings there. Uh, and it wants to be played softly. It's marked pianissimo. Um, and you want to get a good tone. So embouchure does want to be too tight there, uh, and good amount of air, and but controlled carefully so it stays soft. Uh, there's also one other um, uh, uh, technical bit I wanted to mention, and uh, just before the return to the beginning, uh, there's uh, some oscillations between B natural and A sharp. Uh, and when you do that oscillation between the, the B and the A sharp, um, work out how many fingers you don't have to lift from the, from the clarinet. And if you're using a right hand B, which I certainly suggest you do there, uh, you don't have to move any of your right hand fingers. You don't even have to, to, to lift these two fingers. You just lift the fingers that are moving on to the A sharp. And if you make your finger movement, first finger movement, and thumb movement, both rolling. Uh, then it's, it's uh, a very economical movement. You'll be able to do it, hopefully, quite smoothly and, and as fast as you want to. Uh, there is one other little technical thing I wanted to mention. Uh, those little thoughtful responses to the assertive phrase, here's the first one, Now that's all done in one hand. That one is all in the in the right hand. And, and it's fun to play and it's not tricky. Uh, the second one has uh, uh, both hands working. At the end of the phrase, because it goes up to an A each time, we are having to move fingers on both hands. So if you have any problem in the coordination there, take each interval. The first one would be the F to the A. 
uh, and just play it carefully, practice it carefully with fingers relaxed, thinking rhythmically. Uh, and eventually you will get that very clean. And then we got the E as well. Uh, and, and if you have trouble at the very beginning of practicing this, just do one set of E to A. Until you feel you've got control there, then maybe two, then three, until you can do it continuously and then put it back into the context of the piece. So that's the uh, number 58 uh, by Hermann Lang. Um, it's, a, it's a very attractive piece uh, on this grade six syllabus uh, and I think you'll enjoy this one very much.